Have you ever gone to a doctor and he said there's nothing wrong with you? Sure, I've been to many doctors. Most of them didn't know what was wrong with me. It's, uh, I mean, everybody goes through that same sort of path when, uh, actually my mother's a doctor, so I, I got to have a extra preview start of the whole thing. And, and when, it, when uh, I was 26 and this started, um, mostly I had headaches and they were horrible headaches and I would wake up and you know you kind of you don't know what's happening and then you go to the doctor and they don't have any ideas what's happening either so you begin this sort of trip through a whole pile of doctors and after my doctor I visited an allergist and an ENT and a neurologist and who else did I see a pile of physiotherapists. How does it affect your relationship with your loved ones, your family, and your friends. I think I've gotten to the point now where I accept a lot more that I have this condition, but for four years, for the last four years, it was very hard, and I think I went through a phase where just, I didn't even, I didn't want to see anybody, I didn't want to go, to go out, it was like depression, like, I just felt like, what's the point? Like, I, I'm not gonna have fun if I go anyway, and I don't want to talk to people about this because you know, nobody likes to hear somebody whining about their health, so, you know, I, they're not going to find me good company, and I can't do a lot of these things that they do, so I can't participate in them. And, um, um, you know, for a long time I didn't date either, because I thought, well, who's going to want to date somebody who's sick? You know, you don't, why would you even get into a relationship with somebody like that? It's just unattractive from day one, right? So it certainly affects kind of that part of your life because you don't, you just don't want to engage in it. Um, and then, you know, one of the counselors or whoever that I once talked to said, you know, it's a lot like grieving. And it is because you have to say goodbye to a life that you had and accept that you're never going to be that person again and that's very hard.